In this one, we're going to make our own bass ready mixture. Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow. In this video, I am going to go over how to make uh, my bass ready mixture. This is very similar to uh, what Geek Gaming buys, but I've been making this, well, for about 20 years. It started off a bit more primitive than this, where it was just a few different coloured flocks mixed in with each other, and it's progressed onward. So uh, this is how I make mine. You can, of course, just buy it from Geek Gaming Scenix to save time, uh, and he has a nice look, big range of different basing materials. But if you want to have a go yourself, have a watch this video. So let's get on with it. To begin with, you're going to need a cup and a spoon. What we're going to do is start off with the soil. So I'm going to take some of this dark flock. There's no amounts or anything, you just do it until you're, until you're happy with it. So not too much of this. but And then I shall have some medium flock. Um, medium brown flock. Uh, I'm going to add these stones in there just because I'll be adding stones in later on. Like that. A little bit of a stir. Cool. And then a little bit of just sand. And my sand has some rocks in. I want to kind of filter that out and just get some of the sand. And that is going to be my soil there. Put those rocks in there. You could already see already when I've added some of the rocks already. Backs and dropping nice. That in itself could be an interesting base mixture. And as you'll do things like this, you'll uh, that will just come in. You'll be doing get to a stage thing. Oh, I must remember that mixture. That will be good for you know whatever. So the main bulk of it is going to be this. This is a green blend from Woodland Scenics. I'm going to use quite a lot of that. It's going to be because it is going to be. Kind of uh, you can see there already. That looks nice. Uh, yeah, what I'll do is next up is this. This is spring stack grass. I'm just gonna go by hand, and I wanna. Break it up the clumps of it so it's not all clumped together. So might need some more of this. I think I need at this stage I can see where the soil I need another big spoonful of the green before we get to the next now. And they're gonna quite quite heavy. Now I probably need some more stacked grass in here. Looking more like it. So I want it to be green with flecks of dirt in. Add a little wee bit more sand in. And this is the stage where you just want to keep working it until you're happy. Definitely more static grass. A bit more static grass, I think. There's no right or wrong here, it's just whatever look you're trying to go for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going and adding and stuff till I get to the final stage. So once I'm happy, so that's what I'll do. So okay, yeah, that's where I want to be with it. Nice. Now, the final uh, bit I want to do, add some of the rock layers in. So I've got some ballast here, I've got some fine ballast and some medium ballast. I don't want to go any bigger than that. So take a bit of this. So 
already out. Looks great. Uh, and then the same amount of medium stuff. Look at that. That's already just on that spoon. That's looking grand. I'm happy with that. Oh, I think that is it. I think that is that is the mixture. I might say a wee bit more of this in. But yeah, you can just keep going till you're happy. And this is what I call my general wilderness mix. So could fit into anywhere really, but yeah, that's it. Let's get it poured into its final resting place. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Uh, that's my base mixture. Oh, spilling it. And what we should do now is I'll get it glued onto a base where you can see what it looks like. So let's apply some of this base ready uh, mixture to a base. What I use is my sterling mud, homemade sterling mud that I apply to a base. Because this has PVA in, you can just apply the base ready mixture straight on top, pat it down, shake off any excess, and you have a, well, a base that is ready to go. And when you're done, you end up with something like this. This is only a light smackering of it. You can go heavier or put less on, but you've got the static grass, you've got the, the rocks, uh, you've got it all covered nicely. So what I'll do now is quickly show you probably how and showing sort of two other mixtures I've made. So once you watch this video, you can possibly have a go at making those. The first is really simple. It is just a uh, really dense forest mixture where it is effectively just uh, you'll see this the brown you'll be seeing in this video. There's a bit of green in here and most of it's just leaf litter. So that is just a really heavy, dense forest one. And I've got another forest one that I've shown already in a video. If you watch this forest scatter video, I'll show you how I make this one. This one's pretty much based upon this. So I make this first, pour it into there and add more green. In a sense, this is almost a mixture of uh, this one and the mix we're gonna make today. You'll see the rocks in here in the green with just an extra bit of green flock in and some of these leaves I made using a, a leaf cutter uh, stamp and I painted them up so if you watch the forest scatter you'll see this mm -hmm. 